So I need some help with my workshop. Could you give me a hand? Okay, thank you then. For anybody that's been watching the channel for a while, you'll know how lucky, how blessed I am to have this huge, gigantic workshop here. But as you can tell, as with any other space that we seem to get, any of us, I might add, the more space we have, the more we seem to fill it up. I'll try to stop spinning around because I don't want to make any of you dizzy. So, in the new year, that tends to be our quietest period. You know, uh, well, definitely out in between Christmas and January because we tend to try and take some time off then. And for the first couple of weeks of January, we don't normally have any huge projects. I know we've got something booked in, but, um, but that's maybe not until the end of February. So, I'm getting a little bit fed up with all of this mess. I am not a messy kind of guy, regardless of what my workshop looks like. And I hate it. Like, I really can't stand it. What is it they say? Like a tidy, tidy workspace, tidy mind, all that sort of stuff. It really is for me. Um... Every year, like once a year, I try and redo the workshop or tidy it all up. But we've had some new machinery come in this year, a couple of new bits. And I want some advice from all of you because I always, like I love interacting with all of you. I think you're all great. I think you're awesome. And so you guys might have a different take on it than what I do. And, um, woo, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, you guys might have a different take on it than what I do. So let me show you around. And um, then we'll see if you've got any ideas, all right? Cool, let's have a look. Hey, obviously, we have the main assembly table here. Dust extractor, router, disc sander, some tools, bits and pieces, drill station, mic saw, sander, lathe here. Uh, drill, like grinder there, again, more tools. We have a steel fabricating table here. Uh, what is this called? The warm thing, log burner. Dust extractor, table saw, uh, side table, CNC down the far corner, some machinery that's up for sale. I've got a bandsaw there, six inch bandsaw for 250, I think, if anybody wants it. Really nice bit of kit. You can fit a half inch, nearly three quarter inch uh, blade on there. 15 mil, I think is the maximum. So that's an awesome piece of kit. Nobody wants to buy it though. And then canoe right in the way, uh, racking. Um, there's a huge amount of timber bits all over in the corner. Hopefully next door is going to be sorted out. And then the timber can go over there. Sander. Bandsaw. Poor old bandsaw. She's not over mine. I'm looking after her for her friends, but obviously we use her. She needs a bit of love. Anybody know a uh, decent bandsaw supplier that wants to share a bandsaw with me? Uh, what is this? This is a soft form sander here and a brush sander. So... Squidgy, well, sort of squidgy foam sander there, brush sander, it's great for our sketchboards. And then obviously we've got the planer drill press and we're back to the big dual drum sander there. So, we also might have a possibility of picking up a radial arm saw <coughs> in the next few weeks. It needs a bit of work done to it. I've never owned one. I really want one. But I do feel they may be quite like deep. There's a lot of room, a lot of room. And I'm not quite sure if I get... Move this mic saw, get rid of it. There's going to be enough room there. So, what have I got planned? Oh, look, and I've got some clamps behind the door just here and some paint. So, what have I got planned? What I want to do is I'm going to paint and actually finishing off the painting on the wall because I know you guys have commented on it quite a few times. So, I'm going to get all that painted. Um, we're going to go, we're going to go bright white because the lightning's not great in here. However, I really fancy a bit of colour. You got any ideas where I can have colour that is not going to detract from, like, remove any of the brightness? Maybe, maybe colour the cabinets down here. Or the, like, I don't want to colour the workbench because it's MDF or Dane Shawley. I've got a great video on Dane Shawley, fancy. But yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering, how do I rearrange my workshop? Now, there's a couple of things that can't move. So that, well, so that's this, right? So obviously, dust extractor's kind of stuck there. The down comes here and it comes across so we could maybe bump that over well the filter will be in the way of the plug hole uh plug holes man i need to go to bed plug sockets but we can maybe pull those plug sockets move that one over this way move this one ex or extend it over this way extend it over that way so then that's not necessarily too much of an issue that then does give me some space along here originally i had thought about maybe building a unit 
and sinking the router and the disc sander into it. However, when I'm doing big pieces on the router, I do like to be able to pull it out. So I don't know, maybe sink it into a thing and move the disc sander over to this side or something. I don't know. Um, the lathe, nice bit of kit. Sits there just about perfectly, but when I do want to use the mic, it's sort of gets in the way. I have to drag it out, and I've got loads of weight on everything because obviously it's a lake. It just ends up being a bit of a pig. I think what I'm getting at is to do a job, I have to move stuff, and then when you're working, it ruins your flow. Like, do you know what I mean? And that really stresses me out. And obviously, the other thing I can't move is the log burner because it goes through the roof. And I'm not moving the CNC because that's a big, 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 big thing. So I'm thinking maybe the table saw is going to stay here because the CNC is not going to move, so that gives me plenty of outfeed and infeed there. Obviously, that's not going to move. I was sort of tempted to put the lathe here, but I don't mind having a big steel fabricating table next to the log burner because it's never going to catch fire, is it? But the lathe, the wooden table for the lathe, maybe I could sit, I was thinking maybe I could sit the lathe into something, sit it into like a little built-in table and push it back and maybe have it come forward a little bit, but... Then the headstock's on this end. Where is it? There it is. Headstock's over here. So if I want to turn a bowl or something, then I want to be able to pull it out and be better if it was on the other end, really. I mean, I, no. It, it is an induction motor, so I could spin it either way, but... Oh, got a thumbprint there, look. So yeah, so that's what I'm asking for, really, guys. Any of you have any ideas? Have any of you seen any like larger workshops like this more production grade professional <laughs> professional workshops like these where they have some ideas or they've got some good setups or anything like that um i'd really be interested because i'd like to think wow well, i'll just come in paint the walls and sort a few bits out but it's just got so much stuff i can't really get rid of any of it because everything's so expensive nowadays normally you just bin it and come back to it at a later date wouldn't you but that's not going to happen i need all the tools that everything gets used. I'm getting fed up with having to pull stuff out. Like the bandsaw's not on wheels. So I'm going to pull that out. Goes, boop, 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 and it's heavy. Same with the sander. Same with all the other little bits and pieces. And I don't really necessarily want to put everything on casters. Because they're really expensive. So yeah. But the walls do need painting. I do want a bit of colour in here. Man does it need tidying up. So. Help me out. Help me out. Come on, I entertain you guys. I give you some, like, you all have a laugh at me. Tell me how rubbish I am. I don't know what I'm doing. So please do me a favour and help me come up with some ideas for how to rearrange my workshop and make it workable. I'd be really appreciative of it. Um, so, yeah, that's all I've got for you this evening. Thank you very much. You'll have a great evening. And I shall catch you on the next one, all right? Take it easy.